All right, we're going to start with the nation. Senators reps no bill seeking VAT for federal government. Gwari turns down governor's plea to, uh, to drop Adamu. Doing College expels bully. Um, President goes on two weeks medical vacation. Buhari, Uyetola, Tinubu, others eulogize Adeboye at 80. Asu has received 20, 92 billion naira, says federal government. All right, let's start with the major headlines. Like it's a major news across Nigeria this morning where it says that uh, yesterday the lawmakers voted and we're all tuned in to the National Assembly to see how they were voting. Uh, we're going to discuss it a little bit, a bit later, but it's good to just establish a few things that were accepted. So the laws that were passed, establishment of the Office of Accountant General of the Federation, the Office of Accountant General of the, of, of, of the state also. Remember we had that issue where there was a conflict between the federal and the state. So the, the, there's an establishment of the Office of both state and federal. Then the separation of office of attorney general of the federation, like I just said that. But more uh, disappointingly, a few bills that did not pass was more of the diaspora voting, the gender bills, expansion of the scope of executive um, immunity, affirmative action, removal of presiding officer. These ones did not pass, and I will hope that at some point we'll have a, a show where we'll break down each of these laws and explain to Nigerians what it means and what it doesn't mean. So hopefully we'll have one of these days where we can break it down line item by line item so that you can understand it. But um, in a nutshell, the voting happened yesterday, and um, some were good, some were not so good. I like the fact that the Senate president, while talking about the pension for, you know, principal officers of the National Assembly, laughed it off that, you know, this wasn't possible at this time. So day to day, no. You know, I'm even interested in who voted like, for what. I want to know who voted. Yeah, no, yeah, 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 yeah. no, but I think they actually yeah, voted. They voted. Yeah. So I'd like to know who voted yeah. and have an idea. Of, let's, let's have a Who are the ones that are tilted against Where are the ones against the So it would be nice to have that conversation. I hope you know that your names will be put down mm -hmm. according, you know, according to what you, you voted, voted. Mm, how you voted. Is another story? Yes. The president um, has gone on a two-week very important um, break will be in uh, Nairobi for a four days so before he goes on his two-week medical check and it starts to, um, today. He got an invitation by the Kenyan president to attend the United Nations Environmental Program 50 years anniversary, which he will be attending for four days. Hmm. This is, these are more important things uh, as opposed to, you know, right. the lack of um, well, the scarcity of the queues in Nigeria and the hmm. strike and all the other things that right. we're dealing with. Our president can go on his medical trip, but yeah. the, the minister for petroleum must deal with the scarcity. Yeah. But, you know, it's yeah. unfortunate. Yeah. Let me take so, the Doen story. Um, you know that there's, the, Doen, rather, there's still been the inquest into the death of um, Sylvester Oromomi Jr. And the, the principal of the college, while at, during, in a disclosure in the conversation, answering in a cross-examination by... Um, Femi Falano, mentioned the fact that the, the school has, in the past four months after the death, had expelled a bully that they found out about. The report was made. The person who was being bullied, the student was being bullied also, had um, withdrawn from the school uh -huh. by his parents, but the, the school itself expelled that bully and that work is going on. She also mentioned that she sent a condolence letter and that she even made a phone call when she, she found out. She actually broke down during the coroner's um, okay. questioning. And one of the things she had also highlighted was that there was, just like we said in the past, there was issues of bullying. And the bullying that happened was that the sister of Sylvester had reported that um, they were asking her younger sister's brother, which is the late Sylvester, to describe her private area. Mm. And those bullies who did that, according to this principal, were, um, uh, I think, were suspended internally for that. Oh, but yeah. I think now they've gone further to expel because obviously this is the this, this yeah, issue. issue. But according to them, they investigated and found out the bullies that did that and then already um, did, did um, yeah. the so incident. Yes, yeah, from the south, it's government um, attacked a police station at Njaba Imo State. They said it happened yesterday about 1.40. But um, thankfully, um, they were repelled by um, the police officers and then eventually also as they ran by soldiers that they had come in and they had with them uh, what you call IEDs, those are improvised explosive devices and they were shooting um, sporadically trying to gain entrance but um, 
They suffered a lot of casualties. That's what the uh, police uh, is reporting. They suffered casualties. And when they saw that, they all ran away into the bushes. They abandoned their uh, vehicle and other items that um, at the scene, they had the pump action gun oh. and a Sienna vehicle. I hope that also they were able to at least um, apprehend a few of them alive so that they can you know, further um, investigate and find out who exactly they were. Okay, moving on to the punch. FG loses out, the National Assembly affirms state powers to collect VAT. A diversity students arrested for cultism, hemp, charms, and recovered, was all recovered. Five bodies recovered, rescue continues as the Delta vessel explosion. Tinubu won't oppose reconciliation with Arabe Shola, says aid. Transport fares rise, filling stations sell petrol above 200 naira. And uh, Electoral Act Amendment appointees on Constitutional says Buhari. Russian invasion Nigeria to evacuate Ghanaians, Cameroonians, and others. Asu demand mustn't violate wages um, commission's procedure says Ngigi. All right. So Ekiti states in Oye Ekiti, Oye Council area, um, about six suspected cultists, alleged members of the Norsemen, were arrested 8.30 a.m. on Tuesday. They were holding a meeting. In the meeting, there's sort of like a hideout in the university. The public, uh, police public relations officer, Sunday Adibutsu, said that the command received credible information this was taking place, and they intercepted the rapid response unit mobilized to the scene. They were able to arrest them. They listed their names, said they had in, they confessed during the um, investigation and during interrogation that they are students of the Federal University of Oyekiti, and they were caught in the process that made them look like they were cultists. Um, All right. Remember the Delta vessel explosion that happened there? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So the company, the management of Shiba Exploration and Production Company Limited, had announced that they recovered five more dead bodies. And you know that the, oh. the fire was contained since February um, 3rd. And, you know, till now they are still trying to, mm. to recover wow. bodies. They said they are still in the process of recovering more bodies. They've also started um, a corona inquest and uh, forensic pathologists have started to help them to identify bodies. The three survivors, they said, they are in contact with their families, they are assisting them, you know, on recovery, they have footed their medical bills, they are doing all that they can. But they said, as part of the investigation, what was revealed was that people that were not supposed to be on that vessel at the time of the accident, who were not supposed to be on duty or persons that were not authorized were also found to have been on the vessel before the explosion and oh, so really this, sad. this has softened their job so they just can't work with the list of the people expected to be on the vessel they are setting on to unauthorized persons which will need them to start to identify right. and continue the search for bodies all right let's go on a quick break when we come back we'll continue with the review stay with us we'll be right back stay tuned your view will be right back Thanks for staying with us. We're still reviewing Punch. So there's a story I want to take, but you have a story. Go ahead, Mary. So, so the Minister for, of Labor and Employment, Dr. Chris Ngige, um, yesterday, uh, while speaking to correspondents, said that um, concerning ASU and the ASU strike, just the back and forth between them, he says um, that the government is committed to enhancing the remuneration of um, university lecturers. I want to read what he says exactly. He says that... Um, when he says our university lecturers deserve good pay, the worker deserves his wages. So if we, and if we compare what is obtained in other climes, we can say that they are not adequately remunerated and that the government has nothing you know, against um, improving their compensation, even though we have lean resources. But he says, as he's always explained to them, is that there is a process for this. And whatever their demands are, it has to be considered together with the National Salaries and Wages Commission to ensure that the proposed allowance do not exceed government's expense pictures. Mm -hmm. He says that he's constantly explained to them there has to be a process, that the um, president has read the brief, he's satisfied with it, but there's a process to this. So we'll see what ASU well, says. Did they but of the course, the, um, in other news, the Trade Union Congress is not happy with the Minister for Education. And the walkouts, you know, that was that we saw on TV with um, Nance, the Nigerian Association of Nigerian Students. Topic, yes. Honestly, All right, please let so me just. I found the story very interesting. Oh. You already taken the story in point. Sorry, I, I have taken the story. <laughs> so the Russian inv invasion. So Nigeria has been a big brother to 
West Africa as they are evacuating Nigerians to about 2,000 Nigerians. They're saying that they have the capacity to evacuate about 8,000 um, uh, African citizens, especially from West Africa. So um, okay. they're going to be there. You know, they had initially planned to be there on Wednesday, but unfortunately, it's been delayed to Thursday morning, and that's because the host country is, being, is delaying approval for them to have their planes to land. So, but the, the, um, the director, consular, and legal at the Department of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, Bolaji Akeremi, has assured Nigerians that by first thing Thursday morning, they should be able to evacuate, start the evacuation of 8,000 Africans across West Africa, mostly Nigerians, back home. And from there, you start to you now go to your different countries. I don't know. I don't know if they're bringing them to Nigeria straight. They're bringing them to other European countries. Right, I'm not sure. Right. It's not clear yet, but they have plans, and according to them, to get out 8,000 Africans. Okay, let's run quickly now to... Oh. I was going to I take put the, it there for you because oh, I know Guardian. you wanted to take so a story. So the Guardian, a story I wanted to <laughs> take in Guardian, which I thought was interesting. So it's still about Ukraine. Nigeria <laughs> volunteer fighters besiege Ukrainian embassy. Mm -hmm. And I'm taking that story because YK said it yesterday. You remember she was saying that? Like, so this is the Guardian, not Baghdad. Exactly. This is the Guardian. Mm -hmm. So the Guardian has a story, which YK had mentioned yesterday, that if Ukraine sends a plane to Nigeria today, that even though they are blowing, blowing up there, Nigeria will still enter the plane. Interestingly, 115 Nigerians have gone to right um, there and uh, besiege the embassy in Abuja, saying mm -hmm. that they are ready to be drafted to go and help them fight uh, they did Russia. They do not volunteer for the, the wars happening in the United States. You know, the one of 15 oh. Nigerians have besieged that they want they to go there. They did not go to Ethiopia and take a war and to take it. So trip. it's interesting. It, most people were here. As in... Uh, they said it's lack of knowledge the that they die. Abia does we still say that thing. Uh, the people, people die for lack of knowledge. Of knowledge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's move quickly to Daily Sun. APC chairmanship, Buhari rejects governor's opposition against Adamu. Alleged flogging, 19 month um, Delta child died of septic shock. Autopsy yeah. reveals. Hoodlums burn Abia country home, vehicles of ex rep Nena Ukeje. Time to start stomach infrastructure, says Wiki. PDP challenge results of the Ogoja Yala by election in court. Police army fall attacked by gunmen on Imo Station. Oh, ni alafi, we need to tinubu a rebe shala rift. Okay, which story are we taking? I want to take the 19-month-old 19, 19 child. So we took the story as our topic when this 19-month-old child was allegedly flogged to death in a school called Arise and Shine, Nazarene Primary School in Delta State. Huh. And unfortunately, after five days in um, hospital. Uh, in hospital, he died. Oh, and so the parents have done autopsy for the child at the uh, Federal Medical Center at Saba. And it revealed that, he, according to the police PR, he said the child died of septic shock, which he himself said, that's what I can say for now. Let the medical doctors and lawyers interpret what that means. In the least, uh, Moriah interpreted what septic shock meant, and it, it meant a child that died from um, uh, low or high blood pressure due to infection. Yeah. Caused by infection. infection causing uh, a widespread infection, infection causing organ failure. failure. Yes and dangerously low blood, blood pressure. pressure. Yes. So I want to quickly link this, just doing my own small, small investigation. <laughs> the mother of the child said that when she noticed the child was weak, she took the child to school. Okay. And she confronted the school as she was making noise and fighting. When she opened it, she saw the cane marks all over her child. Mm -hmm. oh, she was quarreling, uh, fighting and making a scene. And the people from the class said, ah, our big mommy, hmm. supposedly the school owner, an uncle that's the son of the school owner, and one auntie tied mm -hmm. Obina's hand and leg with white anki <gasps> and were oh, flogging him like a goat. In heaven. Why? Why? Uh, by the for mother. For whatever reason. What? A 19 for month old reason. child. Yes. For so whatever in, reason. I hope that all this one we are saying, Delta State Police already have these people in custody. Yes. I'm just hoping because I don't want to hear they travel, they now lost. In the least, criminal negligence, in the least, they must be found for that. In the list that the child even died or got that injury in their custody. Mm. In the list. Okay, moving on. So, um, Governor Yusum Wiki of River State. Ah, you took my stories. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> I promise. Yeah, stomach infrastructure. Yeah. Uh, I have that story. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah, I promise stomach infrastructure. Said that after he has delivered um, all the promises that he made to the people of River State, River State people, you can hear. Your governor said he has delivered on all his promises, providing basic infrastructure, fiscal infrastructure, that now he wants to take care of the welfare of the people of River State, mm. which is termed stomach infrastructure. Nicely timed. Okay. I, um, I think the Kano State story is mm. there. 
um, Ganduji sacks four officials yes. over forgery um, land scam. Hmm. Um, the Kano State has dismissed from service four staff of the State Bureau for Land Management for selling public landed properties, forging documents, <laughs> issuing false information and falsification of official records. The Commissioner warned that the State Government will not condone any misconduct and there was a proper investigation that was done. It was after the investigation that we was recommended, you know, that we were found guilty, and so they had been let go. I think it's a, you know, step in the right direction. We need to hear more of this when mm -hmm. civil yeah. servants are found guilty, yep. culpable, mm -hmm. or being tried involved. For yes. And they we should be tried for fraud, forgery. Mm -hmm. They should be locked up. They should be locked up. Get an example of Yes. <laughs> okay. The Vanguard. Fuel scarcity chokes Lagos, Abuja, and Ugo. Nobody has taken this for a matter. I thought wow. reality it. is defined, guys, waiting for? Okay. on the front page. <laughs> <laughs> but that deep seaport, uh, Lagos, to kick off construction in June. As to strike, FG not opposed to higher pay for lecturers. Senate, House of Reps, reject the VAT on exclusive list. World closes ranks against Russia as bomb rain on Ukraine. IOC is to scale down oil production in favor of gas. FG under pressure over rising foreign debts. How we are battling insecurity in Sokoto since Tambua. Oni, I laugh me all way into the Tinubu Arabian rift. And Buari rejects APC governor's plea to dump Adamu as preferred national chairman. Hmm. Okay, fuel scarcity, yes. please. So thank you, Vanguard, for doing <laughs> this investigation. And um, the Vanguard has already captured the situation in all major city centers, Abuja, Lagos. And according to them, Nupeng is also threatening that they will not lift product again from any of the depots that is selling beyond the 148, 147, 148 naira per litre, which is the controlled cost of petrol. Because by the time they get out, it makes it difficult. They said that only major marketers in Abuja are selling, about only three or four of them, I think. Only two major marketers are selling in Abuja. In Lagos, some major marketers are selling at the normal price of 162. Some are, uh, um, private marketers are selling at 165. In other areas where they are selling bedroom, they are selling at 340, 400 hey. naira per litre. And you know, because this situation persists of the queues, people would resort to anyhow, this anyhow, matter anyhow, anyhow, anyhow. Even though I don't have uh, this money, I'm looking for good. I, had, I bought in mm. a show two, um, two weeks ago at over 200 naira. And most of the filling stations in the Bumbosha were selling for 210, 205, mm. 215, as at two weeks ago. So I'm sure the case is worrisome now. And then there's huge traffic being caused by oh, exactly. these queues. Many of the filling stations that have fuel, I don't know why we, the, the process has to be so slow that would lead to such also, long queues. Also, transport fares for I'm buses. Gonna... I've gone to this another area. Yeah, yes. And yes. then it another is. thing is that they happen. I don't know about your area, but a lot of people do not have electricity. Yes. So you are now you buying know, it. Yeah, and and then then the Last night, yes. I did not have generator. Mm -hmm. I didn't have electricity. Mm -hmm. We have to have a meeting, guys. We are going to sleep in heat tonight. Mm -hmm. Everybody yes, accepted. That would be crying. Oh, we are going to sleep. We will sleep tonight. All of us slept in heat last night. Transformer go and blow somewhere inside the city. Inside the so me, I just started calling a code school there comes for example of first time. Chinelo, thank you. She did that amazing work. <laughs> we got light yesterday, but wow. uh, before then, I don't have, myself and my children I open all the windows, everything, everybody you naked, don't have back and sleep on the ground. At least a month or two, no, thank two, you, two months at least. It's in back and it comes only for 30 minutes yeah. and that's it. Let me take this story very quickly. Lagos State Governor was in Badagri and I'm pretty excited about Badagri because I'm reading a book. Oh, and it's really interesting. Yeah, I love, I love, love, love that oh book. Oh, my God. And then I'll, say, I'll give it to you. It's a very okay. fantastic book. It's Butono. The name of the book, Butono. I don't know if it's a language. It's a language. It's a language. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Anyway, so he was in Badagri, and he was uh, talking about the proposed Badagri deep sea port, saying that it will commence in June as soon as he gets the approval from the Nigerian Post Authority. He said they're looking for their prayer. Hopefully, it comes in by April. He says that this is a multi-level opportunity for progress and development. They want to deliberately push development into that axis. So if you're looking for property, it's a good time to go and find property there because according to the governor, they're trying to develop that entire region. They say they're developing the uh, Ibejuleki axis with the... Yeah. Yeah. So it's time to, to do the 
double look whatever of the road like they did their papa yeah, will yeah, yeah. real now no, 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 the, road has to be done. the road has to be done if you yeah, are bringing a pot so sir, yes. don't add the ex years mm. of hardship again just start doing the road immediately approve what they did with lekki yes. they should just do the same thing casting of the road yeah. build it yeah. for that weight that will be carrying got it wrong guys any other story important got it wrong mm. all right no my joint shipping let's see the story i'm not taking I think everybody has taken all near laughing between two. Okay, okay, I, I, I didn't take the story. You yeah, guys don't like political we, stories. We, okay, we have to run. That's what we can take. On front page of you, it's Wednesday. The hottest topic today is this that voting that they did at the National Assembly. And we're interested particularly about the fact that the gender bills were thrown out. Mm. When we come back, we'll discuss it. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Your View will be right back.